Sanjay Bhatia has never had labor problems. He feels communication is the key to maintaining good relations with workers. Be it pointing out a mistake or passing on a pat on the back from a customer to the worker, the relationship needs these elements for involvement of the workers in industry. And because of this attitude, Sanjay was able to turn around not one, but three Sikh industries since he started out on his own, beginning in 1977. When I took over this unit, Hindustan Tin Works, this was uh, as a loss-making unit and the major issue at that time for our family which had been in the trading for almost 30 years to look for a diversification and it was a big challenge uh, for me on behalf of the family to, to accept it and uh, to, to take on uh, this uh, assignment and with a solid uh, support from my family, especially my brothers and my father, I think I went ahead and uh, did my job. Do you specialize in takeovers? Specializing in takeovers is uh, something that's uh, a label probably which uh, I'm getting now uh, because uh, there are uh, three takeovers which I have done so far. Uh, one is Hindustan Tin Works. There was another company which was manufacturing detergent powder that also we took over and there was another can manufacturing company in Himachal which we took over through BIFR very recently and uh, I would say that uh, again with a uh, lot of work and lot of efforts and support from team and family we could manage to turn them around and uh, all three of them are running very well and we are expanding uh, in, in all these uh, operations. From the day one, I would say that uh, there were a lot of, uh, because the unit was a loss-making unit and it was mismanaged. From the day one, there were a lot of uh, problems, especially on the industrial relations side, which were there uh, probably pending for me to take on. And uh, that gave me straight away an issue to deal with, with the uh, workmen at that time. And I could really show them that... Uh, that what I mean is business, it's not something that uh, it's a policy of appeasement which would be there. That something set the tone for uh, my people to understand me from the day one. Yes, I was very firm with the, with the people. I looked after them. I told them that in case they look after the company, I'm going to take care of them. And I think uh, it was uh, uh, both ways and uh, both of us. I think I got a lot of support from my team working in the, in the factory at that time, the staff, the workers, and uh, I mean, then they could understand. Because before that, since the company was loss making, there was not sufficient funds, the shifts were not running properly, and uh, the things were not uh, really going on the way, the way it should have been. So after that, since the funds started flowing in and the orders started flowing in so they could really understand that that the company will now start working taking over a unit is one thing and uh, running that unit viably is certainly another uh, cup of tea so one has to really see that uh, one has to analyze day-to-day -day problems and uh, focus the attention depending what kind of issues are there because uh, at times we had technical issues at times on the commercial side we had a lot of finance issue finance related issues like extra uh, inventories or cancellation of orders and good liaison with the customers so obviously it's it's the complete ball game which the focus changes from time to time and certainly for last few years now with opening up of the economy so the very important issue came was the competition from overseas because a lot of uh, the can suppliers in other countries they started supplying to to India and uh, we had to really look into our internal cost structures and uh, internal efficiencies so that had been the major issues now with us so these issues are changing from time to time. We had been spending our time on training of our personnel, 
the uh, human resource development as we call it so that was an, that's also another uh, thing which which is uh, which is a focus area for us i would ultimately like to be a packaging company rather than just a can manufacturing company because packaging with the growth in the industry with the lot of new investments coming into indian industry uh, there is a need to look at other packaging related areas because rather than just to restrict myself to rigid packaging which is there today might be that we look at some flexible packaging areas in plastics or paper and uh, other related areas the young entrepreneurs uh, who want to really start i would just like to tell them that uh, the the life is tough the environment is very competitive they have to really gear up themselves they have to work hard they have to slog to be to be success in business it's not something on the platter which uh, which they will get uh, there's no more license raj which is there so the environment is very competitive and they have to work hard so the only message i can say is the work hard work hard and work hard and only then they would be successful in the ventures what they do